everyone! So summer is coming to an end. I'm taking a few of my favorite summer outfits and transitioning them so that they're perfect for the fall. I also did a few cute simple matching hairstyles that I pretty much did on the spot so if I can do them in two minutes, you guys can too. And this video is in collaboration with Koi Footwear which is 100% vegan footwear. So let's put away our summer sandals and let's get started. So this first outfit is my absolute favorite. This has been a favorite summer outfit because purple is the opposite of orange on the color wheel, so it matches my hair super well. And I've been obsessed with monochrome outfits lately, and it's really easy to achieve even if you don't have exact matches. So as you can see, my top is a few shades off from my skirt, but if you can work within similar colors of the same family, it works well. For accessories, I just kept it really simple with some thin silver jewelry. And for my hair, I did a really simple, loose, messy half up bun and I secured it with a matching purple scrunchie. And I actually really love wearing my hair like this because it's so effortless and if you have a bunch of scrunchies on hand, you can really match whatever outfit you have and I feel like it's just a really cute finishing touch. I paired this outfit with these super cute pink platform boots from Koi because I wanted to stay within the same pastel color family. So Koi's shoes are 100% vegan and they're a very affordable brand. And they also have a wide range of really cute fashionable styles. To transition this outfit into the fall, I'm throwing on my favorite slouchy purple cardigan. I loved this outfit before but I think it looks even better with a loose cardigan on top. And it really changes the entire silhouette and it changes the vibe of this outfit entirely. It definitely looks much more youthful with a slouchy oversized cardigan rather than a tight top and a mini skirt. I bought this last year when I was in Tokyo. I don't even remember where or like what brand this is, but it still remains a top favorite for the fall. The triple ribbon tie in the center makes it such a special piece of my closet and this purple taro color is just so cute and absolutely irreplaceable. My next outfit combines all of my favorite summer picnic pieces as of late. And I'd usually wear this look out with some Mary Jane heels or some sandals for that perfect summer look, but I'm swapping those out for some platform sneakers for a more sporty, casual, and fall ready look. And that's actually one of my easiest tips to transition any of your summer outfits into a fall ready outfit. Just swap out those sandals for some sneakers instead. And you can tell how this has already completely changed the look of my outfit. It makes an otherwise very girly and very feminine outfit look a little bit more dressed down and way more casual. This white skirt is from Jing and I love it so much. I really regret pulling it out of my closet this late because it kind of just got buried underneath my other clothes. But it's the flounciest skirt that I have and I am so obsessed with it. It has so much fabric and in between each pleats has even more gathered fabric and it just bounces around so effortlessly so it's so fun. And I also love that it has shorts built in underneath which makes it even more sportier and it's just such a wearable piece. And the top is one of my favorite summer picnic pieces and I bought this I think two summers ago from For Love and Lemons and it still remains to be one of my favorite tops in my closet. The frills, the lace up front, and the soft floral pattern all come together to make texture heaven. For jewelry, I kept it simple with some dainty gold jewelry and for my hair, I simply braided about an inch of hair on each side of my face then joined it in the back for one singular braid and then I clipped some floral claw clips to hide the elastics. And this ended up actually being my favorite hairstyle in this entire video. It's super simple and romantic and literally took me just two minutes to do. And of course, if I have one thing in my closet that I love, you can expect me to have the same thing in like five different colors. So I have the same Reuben cardigan but in cream and I'm just throwing this on my entire outfit. Then I'm clipping on an oversized lace bow in the back to complete the entire look. Ta-da! I really, really love this look. It's just so comfy and cozy. When it comes to working with oversized cardigans and knitwear, it's important to have a balance in figure. So I think nothing looks cuter in the world than a slouchy cardigan layered on top of a mini skirt and some platform shoes. Because there's an excess of fabric on the top, I like to leave my legs bare and then bring more volume to the shoes instead. And I also love the contrast between the heavy knit of this cardigan and the light bounce of this skirt. Thank you. 
So recently I splurged on this swimsuit from House of CB. This would be my ideal summer outfit. It's a swimsuit with some super comfortable sporty sandals and a matching blue scrunchie in my hair. But I actually only wore it once because I realized that I hate swimming and I spent way too much on this to just wear it once. So let's throw some stuff on it to make it fall ready and luckily I'm from LA so I can wear a swimsuit top without freezing to death. So I'm throwing on some cutoff jeans that I kind of DIY'd myself. I just hacked off the legs and then folded them up. It really reminds me of what I would do to my clothes when I was in like middle school. I think, you know, when you're just like stuck at home and you're kind of bored with your closet, you end up just like cutting all your things. And then of course I'm throwing back on that same slouchy cardigan, except this time I'm leaving open the ties for an even more effortless and comfortable look. For my hair, I braided one inch sections around the entire top and just let it blend loosely with my loose waves for an effortless look. For jewelry, I just played off the blueness of this outfit and I put on a really cute, simple blue butterfly necklace. And then of course, to finish off this casual look, I swapped out my summer sandals for those platform sneakers again. And I've been wearing these platform sneakers nonstop. They're super comfortable and I think that they're the perfect white platform sneaker and they're just so effortless to throw on top of any outfit to make it a little bit cuter. All right, so this is the last look and you guys might recognize this sundress. I've been wearing it nonstop because it is one of my favorite sundresses that I purchased this year and it's from Realization. I love buying black floral because this is actually the easiest to wear year round because you're not constrained by a pastel color palette. So I'm actually just quickly throwing on a turtleneck underneath and this turtleneck is from True and this is my favorite turtleneck in the entire world. It is so form-fitting, so comfortable and so soft at the same time. So I think this works really well as a layering piece because there's not too much bulk of fabric underneath. And actually another thing I didn't mention about this turtleneck, it's my favorite thing about it. Um, it actually has thumb holes and it just really reminds me of like 2008 Hot Topic fashion. For my hair, I just tied three very loose braids and connected them all in the center with a black sash for a very romantic and very easy hairstyle. And I'm just tossing on some white platform boots to make this the perfect fall outfit. There's actually nothing I love more in the world than a really nice white boot. And I really love how this looks because it is really wearable for the fall. And it looks both a little bit punk, but still super cute at the same time. And that is it for this really quick little video of me transitioning my summer outfits to fall outfits. Thank you again to Koi Footwear for sponsoring this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know that we are still going to be stuck indoors for the fall, but I think we can definitely make the best out of things. Think about cozy picnics indoors with a nice hot latte and a nice book. I definitely think that there are things that we can also find enjoyment in in the fall, so I hope that we can enjoy them together. So as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys again next week.